My name is Petra Kretschmer, I'm a biologist and I'm working since 21 years here on Tabatolo as a consultancy and I'm keeping the stat book for them so I created the whole notching system and the number system we are doing here on the farm. For each individual rhino we are recording its sex and age and we conduct a genetic analysis to identify its parents. We also collect specific data for the territorial males, such as the size of their horns, the size and the habitat characteristics of their territory, and the concentration of testosterone from their feces. I've done a study on mate choice behavior with the data I collected here on the farm. And in this study, we found out that actually only a few of the territorial males really mate with the females. So this means within the population of white rhinos we have, only the territorial males mate, and among the territorial males, only a few men, uh, males are really reproductive successful. What I could also show in the study is that half of the females are monogamous. They mate with the same partner over several years. We were actually very surprised about this result because we know that rhinos are solitary and only come together for mating. So we thought that females would be unlikely to go back to the same male. They are so genetically monogam, but they don't stay together with the male the whole time. But when they become a receptive, they mate with the same male. The main goal of our study was to find out whether rhinos choose their sexual partners in order to avoid mating with their close relatives. This does not seem to be the case in white rhinos. Our study shows that female white rhinos do not avoid reproducing with males from their family. We were even able to report a female that produced a calf with her father. If it were rare, it would be okay, but unfortunately it happens often. And this is a problem in, in the white rhino population because they already have a low uh, genetic variability. When you have an enclosed uh, farm like we have here in most areas in South Africa, the animals cannot move out, so they are breeding and they are often breeding with their fathers because the white rhinos are already highly inbred because they all come from one population out of Schluschluwe und Folosi and they have a very low genetic variability. So therefore it's very important that you manage the population so in order to reduce inbreeding. So one recommendation out of the study is that you remove the adult males after a period of 10 years before they start to breed with, the, um, with their offspring and introduce new males. But what you must make sure that they come from a different population, that they're that they are not closely related to the famous, otherwise you are not increasing the genetic variability.